This is how you change the oil on a uh, 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. What we're going to do is we're going to take off this cover here underneath the bottom of the truck and there's a, there's a bolt right up here so I'll show you how it's done. Just take out this this bolt right inside here. Yeah, you can walk it underneath ready to catch your your oil. That's draining. I'm going to show you where the filter is. That, that white piece up there in the in the where the oil is draining from. The easiest way to, to remove the filter is with a tool that you put up in the top up here. It goes right onto the filter. And you can loosen it just a little bit. And then you can take it out the rest of the way by hand. And you just let it drain a little bit because it is kind of a messy job. Make sure you have a bucket underneath it and the oil will start to drain out. Let it drain for a minute or so. And then you can take it out. A word of advice is to make sure that this O-ring on the filter here comes off with it. You don't want it being stuck up to the top of the engine. Before you put the new filter up, you just put a little bead of oil on the rubber gasket. And then you're ready to reinstall the new filter. Only screw it on by hand, as tight as you can make it by hand. Once you've tightened up the, the filter, just wipe off all the excess oil, otherwise you'll have a mess on the ground or in the driveway. Wipe off all the oil. We're going to reattach our cover. That's it. Put it all right down. Put some more. Okay. I'm going to take off the oil cap. Right here, it's on top of the engine. It tells you what grade oil goes inside here. Tells you right on the cap, this takes a 5W30, so that's what we're going to put back in there. And uh, this particular car takes 7 quarts, so we're going to uh, put the oil, they sell it in 5 quart containers. We're going to put 7 quarts in, and then we'll start it up. 5 quart container, and then we're going to put 2 more quarts in. And... Uh, and we'll slide it up and check it to make sure it's full. Okay, after you put the oil in, you screw your cap back on. We'll start it up and let it run for a minute, and then we'll shut it off and recheck it. Yeah, we just pull the dipstick out. Wipe the stick down. 
make sure it's clean. And we pull it out and check it to make sure it's up to the full walk, which is just where it is. And that's it. You're all set. Not too bad.